this little beauty. We want to take a whack off one of these. Pretty awesome. Look at this little cutie pie. Whack! I am a wildlife warrior and I'll fight, fight to the death. Hey guys, where are we? At Australia Zoo. Australia Zoo? Australia Zoo! Let's go! G'day and welcome to Australia Zoo! Let's go! Welcome to Australia Zoo. Mate, every single thing you see here today, myself and my mum and dad built from the ground up. And Terry and I, well, we're just continuing the family tradition. Please, come and have a look at the things we love the most, our animals. Let's have a look. Jump in there, mate? No, I want everybody to jump in here. What do I do? Just give him a bit of a... Give him a bit and of then, a... Oh, mate. There's a good boy. That's a good boy. Gotta be fair. Right. Gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. Grab his tail, mate. Gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. How did I get this stupid job? <laughs> they don't call me the crocodile man. Like you think this guy's dangerous? You should see what I've got in me shed. Welcome to the Venomous Snake House. Australia, of course, is home to the most venomous snakes in the world. for the first 20 seconds, and then he'll settle down. Here he goes. You settle him down, here, you stop rattling. I'm a professional. I've been dealing with highly venomous snakes all my life. And now, and only now, I can demonstrate how beautiful he is. Notice the snake, how it's jiggling up and down. That's my nerves. I am really, really nervous. This is a Western Brown. Real healthy looking one too. They're quite a volatile, dangerous snake. And in this confined area underneath a house, let alone in close proximity, he's best left alone. Have a look at this little beauty. Aren't they glorious? This is the Death Adder. Now this is a potentially dangerous situation we've got here. Nothing worse than a death out of three shoe lace. Ooh, 
tie pan. The thing with the tie pan is they're one of the stealthiest snakes in the Australian bush and would be the most dangerous snake that I'm going to be dealing with on this entire journey. I work with snakes every day, but tie pans really rattle me. by this guy you'd be in a lot of trouble. One bite possesses enough punch to drop 100 full grown men. Now that is serious. And these snakes in here, these are the fierce snakes. They are the number one most venomous snake in the entire world. Come on buddy. Have a look at this little beauty. Beautiful specimen, look at that. Have a go at this. Double whammy. Woo! -hoo. Stay down, stay down. Hey, 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 stay down. Look at this. Hey, 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 hey. You're all right. Wouldn't want to take a whack off one of these. It'd kill you so fast, you wouldn't get time to blink. Whoa, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Come on now. You're a good snake. There you go. Good snake. The fear snake possesses enough toxins that in one bite, he'd be capable of killing over a hundred adult humans. Pretty awesome. Well, that hasn't happened to me before, or anybody else, anybody alive that is. Just think, the deadliest snake on earth came up and gave me a lick. Good thing she didn't like the taste much. This little cutie pie. This is my girl, and her name is Minibus. You want to come for a roll in the sand? Three, our favourite sandpit. Australia's greatest excavators, the wombat. My mum is just the most beautiful person on the face of the earth, you know. He's always been very, very active, on the verge of being hyperactive, really, very much so. If he went missing, you can always look up a tree, there he'd be. When we'd be travelling to and fro school, if he saw a reptile on the road, we always had to stop and investigate what it was, whether we were running late or early or whatever. Um... I've been down, mate. I've been down. I've, I've been way down. I've been down. I've been down as far as anyone can go down, mate. I lost my mum in a car crash. I went down. I went right down. Um, I watched my dad suffer. I watched my whole family suffer. And um, I have never felt pain like that in my entire life, my friend. And what it did for me was it, it actually uh, hammered home uh, the, the whole family value thing and, and, and what it's like to have a family and, and you're all, yeah, everybody's someone's mum. You know, and I was down. I was down for the count. I was down for two years. I was down, way down. And all she ever did was just love me and prop me up and, and get me back out in there. And my dad 
just the legend of the universe. When I was the tiniest little kid, Andrew, I'd look up at my dad and, you know, he was like larger than life. He was just like this action hero. He was everything I wanted to be. And all I've done in my life is follow in his footsteps, mimic him and try to be him. And nowadays, I just try to make him proud, mate. Yeah, I love my parents like, um, like nothing else. It's, it's just they are everything to me, absolutely everything. And the day that my mum went was the day I lost something. I lost something. I'm really lucky that I've got a, the most drop-dead gorgeous wife on earth who is just so strong um, and, and so passionate and so Stevo-orientated. Like, she just... No, mate, you wouldn't... She's... She, if I said, righto, sweetheart, today we're um, going to jump off a cliff, she'll go, righto. She'd pack a bag, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come back and I'm doing a croc demo and I look into the crowd and I see her and I'm like <gasps> boop, 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 boop. To feed the croc you know bloody croc tried to kill me and that and she stayed back and started talking to me and that was it head over heels in love I was sold I thought this man is the most incredible guy I have ever seen he's probably married he's got to be taken when I saw Terry in the crowd I looked up and our eyes met and my heart just went bang, 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 it just started thumping. It was love at first sight. So I wound up the demo, yep, thanks for coming, and then she stayed back and talked to me. He said hello, and I think I said something really clever like hi. And crikey, our love just went ballistic. And at that precise moment, Lori took a photograph of us. She's into what I'm into. She's as passionate about wildlife as I am. If I said, you know, go up and stick your head in that elephant's bum, she'd do it, mate. <laughs> I've got the Terry factor, mate. I've got this wife that is so incredibly intelligent and, and strong that I reckon between us we'll get through it. Also working with gorgeous red pandas from the Himalayas. These cute little tackers are in trouble in the wild. You're very cute. So this is Lai Yi, which means uh, beauty and grace. She likes her being blue. And of course, my daughter is, she is like, she's gonna be a Tibetan monk. She is like <laughs> incredibly insightful. Righto, here it comes. Okay, Steve, grab the head. <gasps> Here's my daughter's head. And like, I can see it, and there's the blood and the reality of giving birth. And, uh, and I've gone to grab the head, and he's gone, no, grab it, grab it. Whack! 
And here's this little baby girl. I swear she just fitted right in here in the palms of my hands. I was flabbergasted, and it was then that her name evolved. I've gone Bindi, after my favourite crocodile, Bindi. And Terry's gone, it's a girl, and I've gone, yes, sweetheart. And she's gone Bindi Sue, of course, Sue, after my dog, Suey. So Bindi Sue Irwin, and um, I just, I was like, it was a combination of adrenaline and just emotion. <laughs> going to get bigger. <laughs> it and can't possibly. <laughs> you and I are going to have to stick together. What? Do you know why? A oh, boy. Oh, great. <laughs> Shall we dress him in little dresses if he's a boy? Yep, and give him lipstick and eye powder and blush. Okay, deal. And we can give him Bobby dolls. You know what that'll do to Daddy? What? It'll kill him. Mummy just had a baby. Really? Yeah. She's had a little baby boy, and his name's Robert Clarence um, Irwin, and he's only that big. Yeah. Brian for short. Oh, a boy! Oh, he's well, so perfect, yeah. it's scary. Oh. Have a look at this little beauty. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't controversial at all, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Set some more traps and catch more crops tomorrow, will we? Mm. Okay, mate.
Jackie, isn't she gorgeous? A kid now holding the gaka. She's like a canida. I'm gonna say canida. She's a canida. I cannot say canida. Tonight, tragedy on the reef. Steve Irwin killed by a stingray. Today the world has lost a great wildlife icon, a passionate conservationist, and one of the proudest dads on the planet. The man known as the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, has died. He was killed he in was a... He was diving with stingrays when one speared him through the chest. It happened on Bat Reef just after 11... The Steve morning. Irwin is survived by wife Terry, who's been travelling in Tasmania, and children Bindi and Bob. They'll ensure the legend lives on. I am a wildlife warrior and I'll fight, fight to the death for wildlife. Change this world and make a better place. Don't you know? You decided not to speak at the memorial. I couldn't. I couldn't. It's hard now. I'm really trying. I know and I appreciate but it. But I've lost my prince. I've lost my prince. I have the best daddy in the whole world. Daddy took me and my brother and my mum with him all the time. We filmed together, caught crocodiles together, and loved being in the bush together. And I will miss him every day. When I see a crocodile, I will always think of him. What will you miss the most? You know what I'll miss the most, and it's very selfish? He was fun. Steve was fun. He taught me that it's okay to play in the rain and splash in mud puddles and let the kids get dirty and spill ice cream on your pants. He didn't sweat the little stuff. He saw the big picture. Well, I'm gonna work really hard at having fun again. What they don't tell you when you lose someone is that you're afraid. And you expect to be sad. But it's a bit scary too. It was some um, hard packing three swags instead of four. But I'm a very determined woman, and I think that um, I certainly have the strength and courage to face what I need to face, and I'll never give up.
much just respect and admiration I have for my mum. Just an absolute wonder woman, a force of nature. And uh, you know, everyone saw dad as this larger than life character, which, which he was in real life. But you know, mum, mum's the one who's kept it going. It's pretty special. This is a good example of what my dad was like. Anyway, it was about 6 a.m. He, he bashes on the door at, at our house. We live right, right in the in zoo grounds. And he's like, oh, Terry, Bindi Bob, get out here. I got a surprise for you. So we walk outside and, and under the clothesline is a Sumatran tiger, just sitting <laughs> under the clothesline, right? And he's like, we've got tigers now. And we're like, hey, cool, that's awesome, good to know. <laughs> I've had the life of a 50 year old, you know. I've, <laughs> I've, I've lived enough for 20 people in my short lifetime and I hope I can have many more, many more things to see, things to do. I, 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 wanna, I wanna get the message out before my time comes. Do you have a favorite animal? Favorite animal? I couldn't pick between crocs and snakes. I love them both. Really, crocs yeah. and snakes? Crocs and snakes. Yeah. This little guy, his name is Bluey, and check out that blue tail. You're my boy Blue! Isn't he cute? <laughs> okay, it's good. Is that <gasps> it? You look amazing. <laughs> That's and this candle is to represent Dad, who I... I wish could have been here in person. So Dad, this is for you. And for Suey, who also couldn't be here, but who gave me my middle name. Hey! Hey, there we go. You're married. This is so incredible and special and wonderful. And I know Steve's here, and I know he's smiling on you. Sure. I couldn't be more delighted to welcome Chandler to the family. Oh. And I know Dad would be proud. I can't even describe to you how excited I am to be a mum. I feel like my whole life has been leading to this moment. Hi! How come you never carry me around in the pram? I've carried you around most of your life. I cannot wait to be able to tell beautiful Grace all of these stories about Dad, to be able to share with her what an amazing father he was. And, um, oh. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really special. If there's one thing that I, Steve Irwin, would want to be remembered for, it's be remembered for passion and enthusiasm. Conservation is my job, my life, my whole persona.